today we're going to make a little die casting. It's a gravity die and this rather Heath Robinish machine here is what holds the die and hydraulically opens and closes the die. Not much is happening at the moment because the die is sitting there uh, with a couple of burners on it to, to preheat it and the burners are running to melt the metal. Up 
coming down. Good. <laughs> Shut down the shopping. Yeah. And this guy had a heating insert cast into it. That insert sitting in the furnace at the moment, warming up to about 600 C.
Well, this is the day's production. There's 130 there. I guess the dye produced about 17 castings an hour. It was a very long and very tiring day. Here's a closer look at the little coil, the heating coil that actually goes in the casting. That's a 1600 watt coil, so it packs a fair punch. Uh, and this is the little sand core I stick on the end of the metal core inside the die. Now this forms the, ooh, if I can get this right, the inside of the casting. The amount of water this thing heats at once is only the couple of teaspoons or tablespoons rather that sit in that very inside cavity in there and it blows, I believe it blows it up a central column as steam. So it, it heats some water very quickly. That's one of the advantages of the urn that these things are used in. Now all that I have to do is cut the riser off there and then linish the top of the casting smooth.